it's your girl Letitia Marie and I am back with a new video for you guys. The special guest that I have for today is Princess Zoe. And Princess Kylie One. <laughs> and Zoe's channel is Princess Zoe One. And this today's video is gonna be for Target. Yep. <laughs> Target. She loves Target just like I do. Today we got a lot of goodies from Target. Um, Zoe loves eggs and she loves waffles. She didn't like the freezer waffles, but we decided to do it the fresh way. And I picked up this waffle maker from Target. And I actually busted open already and I made some waffles yesterday. I made chocolate chip ones and she made regular sprinkles. I mean sprinkle ones and <laughs> and I mine had stuff on it. Mine yeah. So let me open this up so I can show you guys what the waffle maker looks. It's so cute because it's super small and Ow. it's only fifteen dollars at Target. So here we go. So this is it. Let me take it out of the package and show you guys. I only package it back up just for the video. But is this tiny, this cute, super cute by Dash? This is gorgeous. So we got it in a teal color. This is the bottom of it. May have a little oil in there because we just used it this morning. So we wanted to match this with... We did pick this one up already, and we already used it for movie night. And we picked, I'm gonna show them. we picked up, and Zoe's gonna show you this one. It is guess what? Got what I'm holding? A popcorn machine. We got a popcorn maker too, and yeah. it's all in the same color too. We wanted to stick with the same thing. With the popcorn maker, all you do is just push the button right here. Oh, also with the, let me grab it again. With the waffle maker. There's nothing you have to do. Just plug it in and just pour your, your batter in there and it cooks it and it, the light goes on in the middle. This little, oops, this little blue light right here will come on and it'll let you know that it's cooking and it'll go off when okay. it's finished. So, so that concludes the waffle maker. This is the popcorn maker. So what you do, can you grab that for me? Yeah. Inside of here is where the popcorn is going to be popping. Here's the little scooper that you just dump the popcorn inside of here. Then at the end, what you can do is put some butter on top of here. Sit it on top of the lid. Connect the lid back under. You just put it on top and snap it in place. Ooh, I'm dropping it. <laughs> She's making fun of me. No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just laughing. I'm just trying to snap it in place. And but my hands are slippery. Okay, so it snapped in place. So I helped you. It, you did. You did help me. So all you have to do is pour the popcorn kernels inside the inside of it. Take this lid off. I'm not going to take it off again because I'm going to struggle with it. It's not really hard to put it on there, but trying to hold it up and then try to put it in there it's really difficult so you can put the butter inside of here so that way when the popcorn is popping and the heat from the popcorn is popping it melts the butter on top so that way when your popcorn is ready all you have to do is and it oh actually when it pops the kernels are you better have a bowl right well let me not say you better because i'm putting you guys in check but i'm not trying to so what you should do is put a bowl right on the side right here so that when the popcorn comes through here, it's going to fall right into the bowl. Stop. Right as, it, as soon as it stops, you'll hear that it's done because it'll stop popping. When it stops popping, you just take this and dump it onto your popcorn. Then you have some homemade movie popcorn at home. And this one, I believe, was $19.99. They're super cheap for these little things. I want to say it was $19.99, but I think it was like $15 too. I'm not sure. I don't have the receipt on that one because I bought that one probably about three or four months ago. And guys, look at our outfits. It's matchy. 
Oh, but you have the pants backwards. <laughs> she got herself dressed and she has the pants backwards. So just pull your shirt over it. <laughs> yes, just pull my shirt over it. Oh, since so she's showing the clothes, let me show my shirt that I got from Amazon. This is Mama Bear. And on the bottom I have my paw, not paws, but it's brown to show that I'm a mama bear. <laughs> I want one of those too. I wish they had it in kids because this would be super cute for me to have the mama bear if she has the baby bear shirt, but I haven't seen it on, tar on um, Amazon. So, oh well. I, well, might, wait, I wait. might be able to make it with the Cricut machine because I do have the Cricut maker now. Well, not Cricut maker, but the Cricut Explorer Air 2. So I might be able to find a little bear and then just have the layout of Mama, Mama Bear on there and just try to make her one. So until then, when I figure out how to do my Cricut machine, then that'll be one of the demos that I can make. <laughs> Somebody is happy about the baby bear shirt. <laughs> okay, calm down. So, what else did we pick up that matches our little till set? Guys, I'm going to show you guys it. Zoe loves eating eggs. So, I had to let her get this one. And it's only... This one came up to $15, too. What's this one, then? It's on oh. sale right now at Target if you guys want to get it because it's originally $16.99 and they have it for $14.99. They make it. Yeah, that's just the the um, food that you can make. Okay, let's, what's this one? That's let's, just the books. Let me the see books the, of um, things that you can make. Let me see the books. Uh, now I'm going to show them it and open it, okay? Okay, open it up and show them the inside of the book then. First I'm going to show them the book, then I'm going to show them the thing. Okay, it would squeeze me. Let you just take over the video. And this is another part of the other book. So this okay. is showing like how to make the eggs. All you do, you didn't even show them what it was. And this is it's no, I wanted to show them. What okay, it was. somebody getting hostile like she trying to take over the video. Well, let me just let you handle it then. Uh, Miss Thing, I'm gonna need you to show the the description of the item first. So pick the item up and show them what it is first. It's an egg maker. It's off the video. There's the egg maker. And we picked it up in a teal color just so it would match our popcorn maker and our waffle maker. And guys, look in the book. So the what it does is it has a little measuring cup where you put the water inside the little container. Then you sit all the eggs inside the little slots that it has for the egg slots right here. And then you put the lid on it. And within like how many minutes does it take? Wait, let me see. For four to seven, four to seven eggs. Yes, so for soft boiled, it would take like seven to ten minutes. For medium eggs, wait, oh yeah, soft boiled would be four to ten, well, seven to ten minutes. Medium eggs. You can make that in a Will be twelve minutes. And, and hard boiled eggs will be 16 minutes. So, that's pretty good. That way you know that the egg is fully cooked. I know how to make eggs. I just wanted to give something to her that would be like she's cooking for herself. Guys, look at it. You like it? Yeah, but I'm showing them the popcorn book. One. Okay. So come but she wasn't even happy that I bought it for you so you can make your own food by yourself and won't have to ask me to make your eggs. I am happy! Of course I'm going to be standing right there. I'm not going to let her make it by herself and burn herself. But of course I'm going to be happy because I'm happy! <laughs> but she'll still be able to make the eggs. I'll be standing there observing and making sure that she does not get burned. Look guys, look. So, this is what the egg maker looks Whoa. like. Let me un Wait. bag this. The egg maker can make this? What is that? I don't know. Oh, it's like a spinach and tomato fritter. It's kind of like a pizza, though. You can make that inside the egg maker, too. So, this is the egg maker. Yeah, that's it. You can it. take the lid off. I'll take it off. You twist it. Twist. Twist. 
And now twist it. So you take the lid off. I am looking just And you can open that. I'll open it. So these are the little egg slots where you sit the eggs on. Okay. And. I know how to untie stuff. This is tight. You pour the water down here. Oh my god. Then you put the egg slots mm -hmm. back right here. And then you sit all the eggs on there. This is the part to the water part. This okay. is the water container that you're going to pour the water but inside of here first. Me... Then Ooh, put ow, this on ow, there. Ow, 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 ow. There's a, mm -hmm. uh, that's a pokey. That's poke. That way, no. Oh, I'm glad you showed me that. So that way when the eggs are finished, she just showed me something that tells you if the egg is done or not. It has a little, little needle right there where you just... Poke the egg and see if it's finished. See this one? This is the flat, flat part. This is the part, the flat. So the steam from the water cooks the eggs. And actually, I, I don't think it takes that long. I would have to read the ingredients. Read, not the ingredients. Read the directions more. But I believe, like, it doesn't take, like, 15 to 16 minutes. Oh! That's only if you have look at this guy. The seven eggs in there. You see this guy? Look. See? See guys? Look. Yeah, it says the time actually is seven for soft boiled, nine for medium eggs, and hard boiled twelve minutes. It's a lot better than cooking it on the stove because it's it's gonna take longer than that to cook it on the stove. Mommy, I'm trying to show them this. Guys, look. Cool. Wait, I guess it's so these are some more things that come with the set. So Wait, I'm going to put this together and get into the rest of the things for the unboxing. This is the waffle one. I'm going to take this out. This is the waffle one. So what else I bought for this shopping haul is... I'm so tired of going under my cabinet in the kitchen and digging under things and digging over and digging over things and digging under things and trying to grab a rag to clean the counter off and it's just not organized. So I watched this video. Um, I cannot think of the name of the girl right offhand right now, and I don't have the remote to call to change the channel. Can you grab the remote so I can change the channel? Yeah. And then that way I could tell them who is the girl that done the organizing under the cabinet. You have to know her name. It's something Nikki. But she was telling me, Nikki. telling everyone on YouTube about um, organizing under the cabinet and showing us these containers that's in the kitchen section. They're really for storing food in it. The thing I don't like about it, I did notice that the lids keep raising up a little it's um not so locked tight so i, I would it. use it for like I don't know how they uh laundry little pods or sponges or sos pads i would use it for something like that storing things under the cabinet versus That's storing food cabinet. because it does seem like it's a little it locks pretty good right here but when I was in the store and I kept pushing it down, it kind of kind of slides up a little. If you can see that right there. I'll lock it. See how it's locked right there? And it glides up. See how it's getting that little gap between there? Yeah, it is. It's starting to glide up a little. Guys, this is my mom's channel. Right there. And I don't like how it's like gliding up right there because it, it just doesn't seem like it's so locked tight. But I'm going to use these to store like SOS pads and sponges under the sink because I have a lot of them. And I also, I, so I grabbed two of these. These are, they came up to $8 a piece for this size. And this size is, actually doesn't oh, say what's the size this size so it doesn't say oh, the size on it, but it's one of the larger, larger, tall, slim ones. So I picked up two of those. And I also picked up a medium-sized one for other little knickknacks under the sink. So I'm going to be doing another video of me organizing under the sink. 
so that you can see how I store these under the sink. I also Can't picked up this, in here. this new thing that they have at Target. It's a drawer that you can put under your sink. So you can store. I'm going to use this to store my rags. And you just slide it out. They do have a taller one, but with this big old tank thing that I have under my sink in the kitchen, there's no way I could store that taller one under there because it's literally taking up half of the cabinet at the bottom because it's a big tank just taking up half of the cabinet. Yeah. I have to stick stuff right behind it. So it's just an inconvenience and a pain in the butt trying to even organize under there. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack most of the stuff in the front and the things that have like the regular containers, like the soap this soap containers that have like all these different colors of labels and everything on it. I'm going to store those in the back and then have the, for the aesthetic, the, the white containers and this white drawer in the front. So it looks a little more neat under there instead of just looking cluttered. So what else did I get in this haul? I also picked up something else for Zoe that she doesn't know I got. They had on sale these little sandwich baggies. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And they're originally $6.99, but I picked it up for, hold on, let me show the camera. But I picked them up for $3.49. They're on sale right now. So as you can see, she's happy. So these are her little sandwich baggies. This, these are like um, washable sandwich baggies because I got rid of my my baggies, i say about a year ago. I stopped using the regular baggies that you toss out because it's just wasteful to the earth. So I just decided to get the ones oh, that, you, that you rewash. It's not just Yeah, it is too. It is too. I decided to get the ones that you rewash so that way you're not just wasting bags into the earth like that so yeah this is gonna conclude our haul i have guys, showed you guys everything that i got at target and i hope you guys love everything look that I, I have oh she wants to show you her hairstyle look at so i braided one. zoe's hair up and, and she, i did it and she wanted to show you that she put the ponytail in there and she styled the front <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to conclude our haul for Target. I hope guys, you guys loved everything that we guys, got at Target. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified of all of our other videos that we have coming up. We love you guys and come on back. And don't forget to hit in, and don't forget to look below in my bio for all the little shop kicks and Rakuten that I have inside of there so you can get free gift cards when you're shopping. And I am out. I hope you guys liked and everything no, in this video haul. Guys, you gotta click the subscribe button. Five, five.